Hey, what's going on guys? How is everybody doing? In today's video, we'll be going over several team comps for Sing Cho. Sing Cho's primary role on the team will be to apply constant Hydra status for easy elemental reactions from your other supports or main DPS, as well as deal quite a bit of damage, especially with further constellations. If you're new to Sing Cho and want specifics about his individual build, you can check out my full guide on him. Link will be in the top right and in the description below. We'll be taking a look at what elemental reactions will want to make a priority when choosing teammates the elemental resonances we can take advantage of, and what teammates Sing Cho will be able to help the most with his performance. We'll be discussing team comps from the best of the best to those easily accessible to free-to-play players. And if you haven't seen this already, we're having our first ever giveaway on this channel as soon as we hit 10,000 subscribers. To enter the giveaway, go to linked video and follow the instructions listed in that video. We'll have a total of five winners. Best of luck to you all. Now, with that out of the way, let's jump right into the video. Sing Cho's main strength is being able to set up consistent reactions for your main DPS to take advantage of, the most powerful of these reactions being Vaporize. Often, you might notice that a lot of players like to play their pyro carries with Sing Cho over a cryo hero in the same slot. You'll often see both, but in some situations where there isn't a cryo hero, you'll often see Sing Cho instead, which can initially seem odd given that the reverse vaporize reaction deals 50% less damage than melt. This is because of how quickly Sing Cho can reapply the Hydra status after it's removed with a vaporize reaction. Each individual wave of Sing Cho's burst can apply Hydro, whereas with a hero like Kaya, not every hit with an icicle will reapply the cryo status. Even though the melt reaction will deal 50% more damage, this is why you'll more often often see Sing Cho as the more necessary support unit, and this is all because of internal cooldowns. You'll also see Sing Cho very consistently on Electro Charge comps because of his superiority over the other Hydro heroes in terms of tracking enemy mobs. While a comp like this is more focused on defeating a tight grouping of mobs at one time, when the mobs do die and you have to move to a new spot on the field, it's nice to know that your Rain Swords will be there with you without needing to reapply a skill like Mona's. Freeze comps are the last type of team that Xing Cho will play a big role in, and not very shockingly, it's the last reaction he can help initiate. The Frozen Status's duration is affected by the lowest remaining duration of elemental status between both Hydro and Cryo. So, given that we can apply Hydro almost instantly after a Cryo hero applies Cryo, we can set up the full duration freezes with ease. This is especially helpful when facing larger enemies like Geo Bishops, as you can keep them frozen almost indefinitely, leading to easier kills. You just need the DPS to finish the job. Resonances should not really be chosen to boost the performance of your supporting heroes, as they should be built with the carry and team comp overall in mind, though they can of course still benefit from them. So for that reason, we're going to skip the resonance discussion today, as they aren't really important to Sing Cho's performance, and his own element's resonance is pretty awful. So instead, let's move on to the team's discussion. Our first team up is one of my favorites to play and is very subtly powerful. Even though we don't have any of our quote unquote top tier carries, that doesn't stop this team from being destructive. This team features all four star heroes, Bennett, Chung Yoon, Sing Cho, and Zhang Ling. You might be used to seeing Bennett in the supporting role, but on this team, he's front and center as the carry, which might seem a bit odd given that we have Zhang Ling on this team who could utilize Crescent Pike for a ton of damage. However, the main synergy here is between Bennett and Chung Yoon. Chang Yun shortens the cooldowns of all your team's skills and burst by 15% with his Constellation 2, but he also imbues all your hero's basic attacks with Cryo. This, paired with Bennett's already short cooldown on his skill, means that we can apply Cryo with Bennett's auto attacks and then melt them with his skill over and over again for big reaction damage. The fact that Bennett plays the role of main DPS and healer really opens up the potential for this team, allowing us to be a bit more flexible in our hero selections as we don't get locked into one or two specific healers. Sing Cho is important to this team providing both a lot of energy, especially with his best in slot weapon Sacrificial Sword, as this team loves to spam its skills, which leads to a lot of burst spamming as well. But also he synergizes well, consistently dealing a lot of damage and also simply reacting with the cryo status initiating freezes, not screwing up your reactions between Chung Yoon and Bennett. The last slot is quite flexible, as the first three heroes are the primary core to this team. Zhang Ling is quite powerful at Constellation 6, allowing for both her first and sixth constellations to increase the Pyro DPS that Bennett can achieve, while also supplying the Pyro Residents for further damage across the entire team. 
An Animo Hero will work here as well with the Viridescent Veneer set, though timing your swirls can be a bit tricky if you're aiming to reduce pyro resistance. It's not the end of the world to swirl either of the other two elements, we'll be consistently dealing both of these types of elemental damage. Finally, you could set this team up with one of the 5 star pyro carries if you prefer, simply removing Zhongling and migrating Bennett over to the supporting role. There's nothing wrong in doing that, but I like to have my young little adventure shine every once in a while. The next team up is a freeze team that again utilizes Chung Yun to convert our main DPS's auto attacks into cryo damage. This will allow for easy freezes, even though freezing with this team is pretty easy as is. Kaya is our current main DPS as of now. While Ganyu, of course, will out DPS Kaya every day of the week, Ganyu doesn't synergize at all with Sing Cho, given that Sing Cho's burst will only attack on normal attacks not charge attacks. Kaya also has the advantage of having the highest scaling multipliers on his basic attack out of the current sword class and has natural crit rate built into his kit along with the cryo resonance which mitigates the necessity to build crit rate and can instead focus on investing into crit damage. Sing Cho is the ultimate hydro support for this team since every wave of rain swords has their own instance of hydro application can keep enemies frozen for the full 15 second duration. This team is especially devastating when fighting one or two larger enemies as it's easier to control them with freezes and completely ignore them while trying with all their might to attack you. Our last slot goes to an Animo Hero as a Viridescent Veneer support, as we can consistently reduce the enemy's resistance to Cryo. We can further boost our main DPS of choice's damage. Jean is the preferred option here since otherwise we're left without a dedicated healer. While the other options are fine, Sucrose's Elemental Mastery donation has no effect here as we aren't sparking any damaging reactions. Venti is best used against a large group of little enemies where he can effectively control their movements and is not very effective against larger enemies where this team will be primarily used. And finally, the Animo MC suffers from the same issues as Sucrose, leaving us without a healer. Team 3 has a core that has been dubbed the Taser Comp or Firecracker Comp. This team excels at dealing a shocking amount of AoE damage through the Electrocharged Reaction, also due to the off-field support's fast attacks. Fischl and Beto are the Electro Core for this team, Fischl playing double duty here in her importance. The first being that she is incredibly consistent with off-field damage. Both her skill and burst summoning Oz means that he'll remain on the field throughout the entire battle. The second being her fulfilling one half of the Electro Resonance, generating a multitude of Electro Particles to increase the speed at which Beto's burst returns to full. Don't forget that Fischl's fourth Ascension passive will also deal another Electro Strike whenever an Electro-based reaction is triggered, dealing even more off-field damage since we'll have a lot of Electro Charge triggers. Beto is the other half of the Electro Core, providing essentially the same damage utility as Fischl, though also providing a shield for added survivability since this team has no dedicated healer. While Child is the primary hero of choice, dealing AoE in his own right with his Riptide triggers, also adding a natural Hydro Resonance to help Sing Cho's performance as our healer, he can be exchanged for any fast attacker of your choosing. Just remember to keep your reactions in mind. Someone like Hu Tao can be fun on this team, but sparking overloaded reactions could lead you to chasing down enemies more than you actually spend attack them. Child comes with some problems though, mainly that his cooldown can be exceptionally long, especially after being activated for a long period of time. Because of this, you may want to consider building Beto or Fischl as a sub DPS, taking over as the main damage dealer while Child doesn't have access to his skill. This Superconduct team utilizes Sing Cho not for his easy reaction enabling, but instead to deal just a lot of extra damage while we have a selfish carry on the battlefield. A hero like Razor wants to spend as much time as possible on the field to take advantage of his huge damage output while auto attacking, but also because he loses his burst if he switches out during its duration. So because of this, Sing Cho is an excellent pair since their durations line up exactly at 15 seconds. Our other heroes aim to do the same thing. Diona is our healer of choice, providing a shield for Razor so that he doesn't have to worry about switching out during his burst due to being hit too many times, but also providing cryo application over time with her burst for easy superconducts. If you find yourself having trouble keeping enemies inside the radius, just make sure to attack from the outside edge of the ring facing in, so that when you knock enemies away from you, they'll get pushed deeper into the radius. While Fischl is not necessary for energy recharge, as Razor is more than capable of generating enough energy himself, she is a valuable source of off-field damage and can consistently proc electro charge triggers in tandem with Sing Cho for AoE damage something of which Razor lacks. She's also here due to our other main DPS options, those needing more help than Razor in building their bursts, but also being the Electro Hero, should you decide to go with a Cryo Physical Carry instead. While a Cryo or Electro Hero is not a necessity for a Superconduct team, it makes it easier to trigger your reactions, given that one half of the reaction is your primary damage dealer. 
Finally, we come to our free to play team, which uses elements from the electro charge team that we discussed earlier. In order to build this team, I of course started with Sing Cho, but I did want to make sure that we have a dedicated healer as once you start getting into dealing with hypostases and regis vines, healing will become very important. Barbara is a better healer than Noelle, however it seemed a bit silly to pass up on the Sing Cho official combo, especially if you were able to get her for free during her event, and I wanted a team that wouldn't have problems with any shielded enemies that we come across. So Noelle was perfect to cover both the shield problem and her healer problem. I don't consider Noelle to be a primary healer in many respects. However, when played as your main DPS, she can also double as your healer. Where she fails as a healer is due to the fact that she does not generate any energy on her own, her heals are dependent on her having her shield active, she can only heal when on field, and she provides no off field support, all of which are negated once we throw her in as a main DPS. We can select a hero to be her battery and provide her energy, in this case the GUMC, we'll be investing into her more than we would otherwise if she were just a supporting hero, so her shield will naturally be stronger and can withstand more hits, and she will consistently be on field dealing damage, so she isn't a dead unit most of the time. Noelle's DPS isn't as high as some of our other better performing DPS heroes, such as Razor or Zhang Ling, but that will be offset by the amount of off-field damage we have, supplied by Sing Cho and Fischl. Hopefully you guys have found this team guide useful and it will help you in deciding which heroes to move forward and build. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell, that way you never miss a video. And don't forget to join our Discord, link will be down in the description below. But guys, that's all I have for today, hopefully you did enjoy, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.